Well, eventually all the snow on the ground is going to melt away, especially with a slight warm up expected here this weekend. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie shows us the key is to not let that snow melt into your home. It may not be the snow on the ground that you should be worried about, but rather the snow on your roof, especially ice. That's because snow melts and will end up in your gutter where it can freeze, creating an ice dam, which can lead to a huge problem. In the top layer of snow that's on your roof, when it starts to melt, it has nowhere to go. And when it has nowhere to go, then it essentially will back up into your roof line and, and start leaking. It could not only leak into your home, but onto your insulation, which can create mold and mildew. But there are ways to prevent this from happening. You can install a heating cable, sometimes have them hardwired into your home with a simple thing like a light switch. You can buy heating cables online, but a professional will need to install them. Sprinkling salt in your gutters can also do the trick, but you'll need to be sure it does not spill onto your roof. When you get salt on your shingles, it will then essentially eat away at the granulars of the shingles, and over a period of time, if you do it more than once, it can create uh, some havoc that you necessarily don't want. Whatever you do, do not climb onto your roof to try to get rid of the ice and snow. I don't recommend getting on your roof. You know, you want to call a professional or call us to, to make sure we get it done right for you. In Kansas City, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News. Now, experts say you should have your roof inspected every two to five years, depending on its condition.